Hi, I'm Lori with My Little Ranch, and today I'm going to talk about my setup for my little Holland Lops. Uh, Holland Lops were created, um, they were a hybrid mix between a French Lop and a Holland Dwarf Bunny uh, to create a smaller bunny. These bunnies only get to be about two to four pounds, and uh, they have those great lop ears that everybody loves. They are so cute. So I'm going to introduce you to Coco Puff and Pancake. There are two little dwarfs and uh, our Holland Lops, and um, I'm going to show you their setup. So what I did was I purchased this Fun Lax. A bookcase. It's a metal bookcase. I got it on Amazon for about $60 Canadian and I was able to make two cages for one for each of them to keep them separated and they're really great. They have these wires and so you can connect the wires any way that you want to create whatever shape of cage that you want. Our little guys are only eight weeks old. We just got them in the last week or so and so we're having a lot of fun with them. We created this room. We have a bedroom, an extra bedroom and so um, I let them out for a couple of hours, or a few hours every day, uh, and they get to run around and have a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you their cage and introduce you to our beautiful little pollen locks. All right, so here we have Coco Puff. Coco Puff is a beautiful little black tort. So you can see his little loppy ears. And right now he's eating his hay. Hay is fundamental for these little guys. They just love their hay, they chew on it all day. So I got this little bag and I use either a mix of Timothy or alfalfa hay, depending on what we have in the barn. And I just bring some in and fill up the bag. Of course, they have their water dishes and their food dishes. Pellet food is really important. I use the Oxbow um, Bunny, Baby Bunny food um, because it has a little bit more of the nutrients that growing bunnies need. So as far as the cage goes, you can see I've created the cage. Uh, it's about one by four feet, so I've got four sections together. And it gives them quite a bit of room to run around. They're still pretty small. And then on top, um, if you don't have grating on the top. So I just have this and I close it up. And then I use little um, zip ties and I just feed it in. And I, I do it backwards actually. And so once I feed it in, I tie it backwards so that it doesn't clip and then I can easily open it and get them back out. And there's another clip. So inside, I put in some chicken. It's plastic chicken wire. And so it's about half inch deep or wide. So it allows their poop and their pee to go down inside. But it's really soft on their feet because as you can see, the grates themselves are quite wide and they would get their little feet caught in there. And so I just lined that along the bottom. And then underneath, I have these little metal lasagna dishes that I got at the dollar store. Nice and easy, you can pull them out. There's their poops and peas in there. This stuff is great for the garden, so make sure you save it, throw it in your flower beds. Uh, doesn't burn your flowers and uh, is really, really great fertilizer. People actually collect it and sell it. Uh, this is the, the area that he likes to pee in quite a bit. He seems to come over here. This is his chosen spot. Uh, you can see their pee is a little bit, his is a little bit dark brown, uh, brownish orange. And hello, Coco Puff. Hello, baby. Uh, and depending on what they eat, that is totally normal. Uh, so I just keep an eye on their pee. Sometimes it's a light color like ours and sometimes it's a little bit darker. As long as there's no blood in it, if it gets a little bit cloudy, it can be a little bit um, excess calcium. And so you wanna watch for that as well. And you can just adjust their feet accordingly. They also have little chew toys in here. So let's go meet Pancake. Pancake has a similar setup. Pancake is our little female. She is a broken tort. 
So her ears are very similar to Coco's, except she's pretty much all white. And then I just have a little area for her to go in. She goes in there sometimes, um, but same idea. And so it's quite a bit of room for them to run around. And then in the rest of the area, when they get out, they can just run around and go through these little tunnels. And then I bought some toys at the Sally Ann that they can climb around on. I also have their original uh, crate that I brought them in. I just leave it there in case they want to go inside. But they have lots of room to run around in here. Um, not a big deal when they poop. The poop is quite dry. And so it can just be swept up easily. And I just collect it into another little bin and then it's taken out to the garden. So that's my setup for our Holland Lobs. And as they get a little bit bigger, I can extend their, I can add more of the wire grates and just make their area a little bit bigger. So they have a little more room to run around. But right now this works pretty well. In my upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you things like clipping their finger or the little nails, very important. Uh, we're gonna talk about food, how much to eat, what they can eat, what they can't eat. So subscribe to my channel and we'll see you with more videos. Thanks, bye.